Hello YouTubers, JT Bear once again. Just thought we'd take a really quick look as I'm making some uh, minor adjustments to my shallow water culture aquaponic bed here. So, let's go take that look. If you recall when I set this up, I had the pipe running along the bottom in the center trough, releasing at the middle and at the end. I was advised it was better off just to let it release at the end, so I'm doing that. I was also advised that in the uh, case of a power outage or whatever, my water would undoubtedly all drain back into the tank, so I'm just dropping this pretty much right at the water level, so if I do get a power outage, it won't drop a lot of water back through uh, suction into my main tank, which is good because this particular tank does not have a lot of room for uh, extra water. Anywho, this gives us a good opportunity to see how this Russian red kale are doing. You ask me, that's some pretty good growth. It's been, what, just over a week since I put these in. This is my first experience with Russian red kale, but uh, I don't care, that still looks like some pretty good growth to me. We check underneath the board here, see how those roots are doing. That looks pretty good to me too. All right, so let's turn the pump back on, get this thing filling back up again. And I'll put the other raft on, show you how that's doing. So I am really not that fond of the styrofoam because of the way it breaks on the edges and those beads get in there. I mean, yes, you can cut it with a hot knife or a hot wire or whatever and get nice smooth edges, you know, as you can see on those ones there. But if it breaks, you're still left with that. And I'm just not happy about that. However, the plants don't care. Look at that guy. They all seem to be doing fairly well. So, that's the bit that matters. I am going to be finishing it off with wooden planks across the surface of that. And they will eventually be covered with, uh, you know, proper three coatings of the liquid rubber. Still in the experimental stage right now, so I'm not going full bore and throwing it into my system as much as I want to. Baby steps. I've got a few different things in here that are setting up to root and make clones for me. I've got some more of my oregano, lemon balm because there's lemon balm everywhere. And I've kind of noticed that when other plants get aphids, the lemon balm doesn't. So I'm going to experiment with that and uh, start moving around some small lemon balm plants to aphid infected areas, see if I can get rid of them. I've got some sage plants here that I'm starting to root, and some tomatoes that are waiting for a place. Some more Russian red kale waiting for a place to live. Some mint, and the main oregano. So. Not too bad. Still need to fill it up, finish it off, get it growing properly, but for what it's doing so far, I am very impressed. Quite pleased with the change to uh, a shallow water culture with this bed as compared to the media. Really wasn't happy with the way it was draining. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thanks for checking out this SWC aquaponic bed. Have yourselves a fantastic day.